Good morning. Some people have asked me how the uh, Marmite chipping technique I use is done. So a short little video to kind of illustrate the steps. Uh, first time for me, so apologize if it doesn't make much sense. Quick thing for those who don't know, Marmite is a yeast extract. <clears throat> Vegetable spread of some sort. Who knows what it is, to be honest. Um, but I've seen people describe using it instead of salt to do chipping. I've also tried various products, including the AK and once upon a time uh, liquid mask, all of which work kind of in the same way from what I can tell. This is also similar to the hairspray, hairspray technique. Um, personally, I found the worn effects and the heavy chipping fluid both either give much too large uh, of a chip for what I consider to be realistic on aircraft or um, um, dry too much and then <clears throat> are hard to reactivate. I tend to use Tamiya and a collection of other acrylic paints, you can see in the back. Um, so maybe that has something to do with it. Nevertheless, here's the steps I follow to do a uh, Marmite application. Um, first, undercoat the aircraft uh, surfaces that I want to have chipped with silver. Um, I've used alk clad silver aluminum, uh, frame aluminum for this. Then I'm going to put on a coat of clear gloss. This stuff kind of stays sticky, but as clear as go, it seems to work. Very, very thin coats seem to work best. Uh, once that's dry, uh, I'll be dabbing on some Marmite. Use various methods to do that. This is a little wire wheel Dremel, which I've never used for anything Dremely, um, but uh, I use to roll to give a uh, random pattern to some of the uh, Marmite. You can see it still on the wheel. Um, the one problem with this is it tends to produce very large or broad wear patterns, um, but I, I use this in the areas immediately adjacent to the either side of the fuselage to replicate people walking through that area. And the Marmite doesn't seem to affect the brush. It's kind of reactivate it, quote unquote, um, by cracking it up or getting it wet. And then it turns uh, uh, loose again. So I'm gonna stop here and try to illustrate those next steps. Bye. 